The only people that can be safe is the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, and Native American Indian. And out of all of these nations, we need the most safe. We're starting our predicament anyway. Yeah, we don't. Really. Right. First John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Okay. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right. So those are the only people that can that can commit sin. Give me that in Psalms 148, brother. Those are the only people that can sin. Those that are under the law. We're going to find out who's actually under the law. Because when you're dealing with the law and you're dealing with the things on looting, all right, to the covenant, it was all given to Israel. Go on. Psalms 147 verse 19. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He showeth his word unto Jacob, yeah. the statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right. He hath not dealt so with any nation. What are the statutes? The statutes is alluding back to the law. So the only people that can transgress or fulfill iniquity are those that are under the law, which are the children of Israel. That's it. So the so called white man, he has no place in that. The so called East Indian, they have no place in that. The so called Arabs, they have no place in that. Okay? Those different hermetic dark nations have no place in that. We're dealing with the Bible here. We're not dealing with some old made up nonsense. Okay, which is what you would call Christianity at best. It's made up nonsense. It goes all the way back to the Roman Catholic institution to bring everybody together so that the Roman Catholic Church can remain um, in its power. And that also they can maintain a lot of, they can gain a lot of wealth from that as well. A lot of lying to the people. Go on. He have not done so for any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So we're the only ones that are under his judgments and his laws to, to commit sin in the first place. That's how you break the shit down. So go back to the Bible. Go on. Corinthians chapter 5, verse. 21, yeah. for he have made him to be sin for us. Right, he have made him to be sin for us. Go on. Who knew no sin. Right. And it says that we might be made the righteousness of that the most high in him. Exactly. So that was that, that was that's the reason why the Lord died on the cross. He died on the cross to beat the side of the children of Israel back to the most high. As he's known as the peacemaker, or what you would call the mediator between him and the most high. So that was really the intention of who he called Jesus Christ. Because there was a, give me Hosea, brother, give me the book of Hosea, the first chapter. Because there was a time when the Lord so done away with Israel. Okay, he totally tossed Israel to the side. Look, I'm not going to be dealing with you no more. Because all of the sins and the transgressions you committed. But guess what? He has to fulfill that covenant. That's why um, pretty much there's a new covenant. That has to be, that has to be, um, what is it taking place? Which you can read that in Hebrews the 8th chapter, but we're gonna, we're gonna stick to one thing at a time. Right. We'll so you got a question or anything, or just let I'm me know. I'm listening to your message. All right, man. You read that? This is the book of Hosea, chapter one. Oh, you know what you could do? Get Romans 11, brother. Oh, what you got, bro? That's a good piece, sir. You know, get Romans 11. In Romans 11 and 1, I say then, of the most I cast away his people. Right, it says of God cast away his people. Go on. God forbid. Right. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. So it's declared in the New Testament and also in the Old Testament that the Most High established his own of Israel forever. We can get that in the book of Psalms. So the Most High said he was going to establish something forever, and he meant that. The Lord is not going to say something and take back his word. That means he's going to only fulfill his word. Go on. The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Yeah. What he not, what the scriptures say of Isaiah, how he make him intercession to the Most High against Israel, yeah. saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets All right. and dig down thy altars, All right. and I am left alone. And that was the wicked portion of our people, because you always had Israelites that believed, you always had the remnant of Israelites that believed. Okay, but just because you had the majority that doesn't believe, that don't mean that the, that the, uh, the Mosai totally cleanses has from Israel. No. There was 
always a remnant as you have it right now to this very day. We're, we're the representative of the remnant that still believe in this thing. Hence, we're teaching and we're teaching. This is why we're out in the highways and the bottoms, making ourselves look foolish. We're in righteousness, though. Okay, go on. And they seek my life, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? Right. I have reserved myself 7,000 men. And that's the point. Because this, that, that's the point. I re he reserved himself 7,000 men. That, that could actually mean anything because the number seven is completion. Yeah. So it can mean a completion of thousands of men. Which we can further prove that. Let's get, let's get what it really means. Revelation the seventh chapter. Let's go right there. Because you have a portion of men that's preserved for salvation. And that's what you call the 144,000. So to speak. So those are the people that are going to be saved out of the nation of Israel. And then through them, the restoration of the um the two thirds is going to be in effect. Right? Yeah, 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 give me that, brother. Uh, Revelation chapter 7 and uh, from verse 5. Yeah. And of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Yeah. Of the tribe of Gad. We're still 12,000. Right, and then go on. Of the tribe of Asher, we're still 12,000. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Nef Neftali, we're still 12,000. Okay. Of the tribe of Manasseh, we're still 12,000. Yeah. Of the tribe of Simeon, we're still 12,000. So that's what you see right here. This is why we have the 12 tribe sign. Okay. Now, when you look at the 12 tribe sign, uh, these are what they're being called today. These are the slave names right now. Okay, Negro, Black. West Indian, Haitian, Dominican, uh, uh, what is it, um, North American, Indian, but this is who we really are. These are our real original names. Okay, so these are the, you're have 12,000 out of each child that's gonna be saved, that's gonna make it, okay? Verse seven of the tribe of Simeon, we're still 12,000. Keep going. Of the tribe of Issachar, we're still 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon, we're still 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph or Ephraim were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were still 12,000. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude yeah. which no man could number yeah. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne. Exactly. So when you, do, when you do the math, 12 times 12,000, that's what 144,000 men. All the priests, those of that belief, but you also had the peace of a multitude, which the peace of a multitude goes into. Um, those, are, those are the Israelites that were scattered abroad that were called, um, what you would call Gentiles, but they were Israelites. Okay, and this is where the Christians get it wrong because they, they, they read the New Testament and they think, okay, Christ did away with the Jews and now it's time for the, the, um, what is it, the Gentiles to get away with the salvation. But no, the Gentiles in the New Testament was talking about the Israelites. Okay, this is all reversed back to the covenant. The Lord had to fulfill the covenant Salakia, the Lord made an oath, a covenant to our forefather Abraham, then Isaac, and then Jacob, and he has to fulfill the covenant. Go on, bro. So if he actually, I don't cut you. So if he actually, let's say the Lord paved the way for the actual of the nation to be saved, right? That would upset the covenant because that's not what it tells the covenant. Okay? Go on. I stood I before the throne, before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, yep. a palm in their hand and cried with a loud voice saying, yep. Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Yep. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts yep. and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped the Most High, saying, right, right. A man, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Exactly. A man. Exactly. So the Lord is going to proclaim His power on the earth. Right, which he, the Most High always had his power on earth, but he's just working through different nations and different men. Okay, but his ways is going to be fully, pretty much declared on the on the, on the earth, so to speak. But it's all going to be done by our people first. We're going to administer his way, and we're going to proclaim righteousness in, on the earth, on this earth. You know. So where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Bahamas. Huh? Bahamas. Oh, you're from the Bahamas. I knew you was. I knew you was one of the tribes, man. I kind of had a feeling you was an Israelite. What's up, brother? Yeah, you definitely, brother. Definitely. Yes, yeah, so you be. That's it. That's it. That's it, brother. See, that's an Israelite right there. So you said you're from the Bahamas, right? Yeah. So he's from um, either the tribe of Benjamin, 
or he could be of, um, you know, the Northern Kingdom, you know? But yeah, he, he's an Israelite, man. And what we're teaching, brothers, is that we're the sons of God, okay? You know, you're, we're, not, we're not West Indians or Jamaicans or whatever. We're the real people of God. We're the chosen people of the Most High, so to speak, you know? And the reason why our people went into slavery, we were conquered by the Spaniards, we were conquered by because we sinned against God. Okay, and that's why we're down and out now, but that's not always going to be the case no more. What's going to be the case in, in the future is we're going to be the new supremacy on the earth. Okay, all of these nations that look down upon us as a people, they're going to, they're going to be um, under us now. Okay, serving us. And that's going to be the, that's going to be the truth right there. Okay, that's going to be the going on. It says in Revelation chapter 7, verse 13, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? Yeah. And whence came they? Yeah. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, yeah. These are they which came out of the great tribulation. Right. And right. washed their robes and made them white right. in the blood of the Lamb. In the blood of the Lamb. Let's read that. Let's read that again. I didn't catch all of that. Let's read that again. Revelation chapter 7, verse 14. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great mountain. Because the white, because when they were wearing the white robes, the white robes represented how, how they were purified because of their righteousness and what they overcame to be purified. That's what that represented going. Out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Of the blood of the Lamb. Now let's hold what you got. And also get on um, Acts 14. You know what I want? Acts 14, and I believe it's uh, 21, I believe it is. Because that's how ultimately we're going to be purged from our sins is by going through the afflictions and the hell that we have to go by. Once we overcome that, then we'll be made white, we'll be pure. Like these so called Europeans, they like to call themselves so called white people. They're not really white people. They're really the black and ugly people. They, use, they put that nigga upon us to give us a bad rap. To, to put a negative vibration on us, but we're really the true white people. Okay, I'll show up on you. I'll show up on you. That's all right, man. That's all right. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. So that's just the, that's just the whole thing. The, 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 end, the end of it all, this brother right here, he's going he's gonna to be in power. We all going to reign. We all going to reign supreme. Okay, that's the end of it all. All of this, all of this oppression that we're going through as a people, it's going it's gonna to be put to a stop real soon, man. All right? It's going to be put to a stop. Alright, this is Acts chapter 14 verse 22 yep. Confirming the souls of the disciples Alright, brother, and shut up, shut up You about to, you about to go, right? I'll right, take care, brother, man Alright, man Most high God will the king of all of those who are faithful Exactly You are all Israel, brother It's where the Israelites we'll, we'll see eye to eye, man We'll see eye to eye, you know what I mean? He, he's a Muslim, isn't he? He got that Muslim spirit on him But he alright, though, he alright He's an Israelite anyway Yeah, yeah all right, uh, Acts chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples <coughs> and exhorting them to continue in, in the, the faith, faith. Yep. and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right, and that's the bottom line, man. That's how we're going to be made impure. It's by going through the affliction. Mainly when this new world order is declared and when martial law is declared. All right, well, first, it's gonna come to, that's going to come to pass first. The martial law being declared and all matter of hell being broken loose in this society. The elect are going to be tried on that, and that's how we're going to be encouraged. Yeah. Okay? And then that's, that's going to get us into the kingdom. Yeah, so, um, give me all. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, go back to what you had before. Alright, let me see. Yeah, that's it. Alright. But yeah, yeah, give me all um, Revelation Schools if you want, actually. Since we're on that topic now. Revelation chapter 14 and 1 and it says and I looked and lo a lamb stood on the Mount Zion yep. and with him a hundred and forty four thousand yep. having his father's name written in their foreheads exactly so that's the men of the nation of Israel or the priestly hood that have that name to be saved and that's only Israelites that can get that no so-called white person pure blood that I mean Edomites can receive this right here and that goes for you vocab, you vocab baloney out there, man. Okay? 
I could see him crying his eyes out. <laughs> you know, he liked to talk about how what we're saying is trash and rubbish, but he's, he can't sleep at night. You can see he can't sleep at night. All right, he's worried about it. He's talking like hell that maybe he is Italian, but he's not Italian, you're German, man. Okay, that means you most likely go back to Esau, man. Now you got certain Jakes out there that may go back to the German side of things, but that's a very few, man. And it says in verse 2, and I, and I heard a voice from heaven, and it says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts, and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but 144,000 which are redeemed from the earth. Right, and the song is his truth, man. Learning the song, when we, when, we, when we bring these scriptures out, what are we doing? We're performing, uh, uh, what is it, a, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're performing, we're performing a uh, song, okay? We're actually making a, doing a performance. That's why some people, they look at us like, 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 we're, um, like we're clowns or something. Because we're performing as we're doing this, we're actually bringing out this word, man. Okay? But the only people that learned this song was 144,000, all right? So let's read that again. So anybody that's not in this truth, they're gonna be destroyed. That's just the facts, man. That's just the facts. Go on, man. Read that. And it says in Revelation 14, verse 3, verse 2, and I heard a voice from heaven and the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, okay. and I heard the voice of harpers right. harping with their harps. Right. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts. And the reason why it says they sung it as it was a new song, because this shoe was lost at one time, but then it came back all over again. They restored it so they renewed it So it was an old doctrine, but it just came back in these, in these days and times. Go on. And the elders, and no man could learn that song, but 144,000 right. which were redeemed from the earth. Give me the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter. Malachi 4, you can read the last couple of verses. Malachi chapter 4 and it says verse 4 remember ye the law of Moses my servant which I commanded unto him in Horeb right so it says remember ye the words of Moses this is the end of the, the Old Testament so what is Moses what is it saying read that again what is Malachi saying Malachi saying in verse 4 remember ye the law of Moses my servant which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Right. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet before the coming. And that happened already. That already happened. Now we believe, in, and you know what too? I'm not gonna put that all out there like that, but we believe, you know, Abba Bivers is, is that God. Okay, he came and he brought the truth to the fathers, restoring the fathers back to the ancient fathers. That's what he did. Okay, so let's read that again. And well, says, read that some more. Lock it. Yeah. Uh, Malachi 4 and 4. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, right. with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day the of the Lord. Exactly. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, right. and the heart of the children to their fathers. Right, and turn the heart of the children to their fathers. So in other words, we're going to regain the truth all over again. So that's why since they sang it as it was a new song, Meaning the song was refreshed. It sounded new because this shoot had no fruit. All right, it tells you that in in, um, in the book of Esther too. It says uh, it says that um, the truth should be um, what is it uh, uh, without fruit, and then it's gonna come out of it. As it's happening right now, the truth is coming out in the midst of of its of its hiding. Okay, and they're bringing it out like it's a new thing. Go on. And it says, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. I'll go back to what you can. Back in Revelation chapter 14, verse 4, verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000. Yeah. And they were redeemed, which were redeemed, so that they're from the earth. Yep. 
these are they which were not defiled with women, okay. but they are virgins. And now what that means, like we went into yesterday, that ain't talking about how we were actually virgins. It ain't talking about that. What it's talking about is the philosophies that we didn't dive into. All right, we didn't mix this truth with the different, with the different uh, religions out there. Okay, we didn't merge these religions together with this right here. We didn't do that. Okay, we renounced corruption as well as. So that's what it means that we are, they are virgins, so to speak. Okay, although in other words, they're pure from the, from uh, from corruption. Go on. Uh, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. All right. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. Okay. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High, unto the Lamb. Right, exactly. So we're going to follow the Lamb, but we're going to follow the Lamb, follow the Lamb wherever so he goeth. And that's following this truth in totality, man. And teaching a complete, 100% truth. That's exactly how that's going to be done. No other way. You can't be teaching 90% of the truth or 80% of the truth. You got to teach the whole thing. Okay, when an Edomite come up, you got to tell these Edomites where they going. And they're going right to slavery. That's what you got to tell them. You got to tell them the truth. You stand on the truth. Okay, and nothing but the truth. The Lord said to sanctify them with the truth. Yeah. Thy word is true, man. That's what we're supposed to stand on. That's right. our foundation. Okay? Yeah. You go on, brother. It says, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits right. unto the most high and to the lamb. Okay. And in their mouth was found no guile. And in their mouth was found no guile. So it's letting you know right there what is the guile? Deception. Okay, deceiving you into false belief systems. We ain't doing that, man. Yeah. Like, uh, like um, the, what is it? The GOCCs do. They teach you about how the, uh, the stars in heaven, they're, they're the fallen angels. That's virgin false philosophy. You can't do that, man. And ain't telling you that the, the, the Samoan Islanders, they're Israelites. That's false philosophy. You can't be going into that, man. Okay? We have to teach the complete truth. And the truth of the matter is, is that the so called Negroes, so called Latin Native American Indian are, in fact, the Israelites. That's just a part of the truth. Okay? Go on. And it says, and in their mouth, verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne. Of, of the most high. Exactly. Now, brother, give me Hebrews 5 and 12. And, 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 and also, another portion of the truth is teaching these other nations that they're going to go with a slave. The same nation that enslaved us, they're going to go with a slave. That's something that we have to bring out as well. So we can't hide anything, man. Everything's got to be put to the forefront. Yeah? That's the truth. Go on, bro. Book of Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. Mm. For when, for the time he ought to be teaching, right. you have need that one teach you again. <laughs> yeah, let's read that again. Bro. Read that again. <laughs> for when, for the time he ought to be teaching, right. you have need that one teach you again. You have one that, he, you have one that teach you again. So that's how we would regain this information back on over again. That's the that all that that all includes the reconciliation. That's the law showing mercy to the nation of Israel is by bringing the first fruits back to his wisdom and his understanding. That's the reconciling of, of it right there. Okay, the adoption of sons, big boy. All right, so let's read up one more time, brother. Hebrews chapter five, verse 12. Mm. For when, for the time he ought to be teachers, All right. you have need that one teach you again. And you have one that teach you again. So we were taught by our elders and our apostles this word. And this is why we can stand tall with bold confidence and teach the word of the Most High without feeling no kind of way. All right, now when we were done teaching this truth, we felt some kind of way. We don't feel like nothing anymore. This is just a part of our life. All right, this is not something that we just do. You know, on a, on a certain occasion, we do this all the time. We live this big boy. We live this man. Okay, go on. You have need that one teach you again which be the first principles right. of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Okay. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful right. in the word of righteousness. Right, that's for talking. Ease of faith. Right, and that's talking about you know the the, the, the the scriptures that are easy to understand. Now, if you un, if you only understand the easy scriptures, you're unskilled. Okay. So there's different levels to knowing this truth. 
But as you grow in the faith, you're supposed to grow to, to completion, perfection, I meant to say. And then you're gonna teach the complete truth. Another but the truth. Okay, even if YouTube shuts down the channel, which they're going to do in, 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 in a short period of time anyway. The internet, they're going to shut down shooters. Any kind of form of truth you bring it out on the internet, they're going to shut it down. It's east, so they want to establish their one world system. So they ain't got time to really be merging the truth with their lies anymore. All right? But that's when Esau is going to fulfill his part of the, his part of the story in Revelations 12 and 12. Okay? And we're going to get the hell out of here, man. So all of this is to make the sound of Israel. That's what this is all about. We've already been reconciled already. Okay, beginning with the brothers that, that woke up in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, man. And we woke up in the, you know, the 2000s. So it all began with us. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It all begins with the restoring of the house of Israel and then the long side can then make peace. All over again. Because we're not going to be in captivity, no we're not going to be living in poverty, no that's going to be shut down, we're going to be the, the, the supreme power now, alright, like how you have what you call white supremacy, which is the big elephant in the room, it's going to be Israelite supremacy, yeah, so that's what we're coming into next, <clears throat> and we're going to be walking with our heads up high and pride and all that stuff. We're gonna be the guys doing that, thinking that we better than everybody, which we are naturally anyway, all right? And that's what's gonna go down. We're gonna be the new face of supremacy. And I'm talking about when the kingdom of heaven is set up. What's up? Oh yeah, your, your page is strong. Yeah, you have to be careful. I tell you what, let him use minds, bro. That's exactly what's coming on into this reality. That's what's coming next. When this society is destroyed and brought to hell, then the next world is going to come in effect. And our world is going to come in effect. When you hear the term kingdom of heaven, that's talking about the, the kingdom of Israel. We're the Israelites, all right? <coughs> so that's just right, that's just right there, man. Yeah, yeah, you got something. Yeah, yeah, that. Daniel chapter. You all right, bro? Daniel chapter uh, 7 verse uh, 18 but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom yeah. so who are the saints of the Most High let's get that in Psalms brother if you want to we get that in the book of Psalms who are the saints is it just anybody that gets the anointing no and anybody can't just get the anointing you have to be a Israelite to be anointed in other words you have to look like us to be anointed you have to be of our race to get the anointing. Okay, if you're not of our race, of the nation of Israel, you're not, you can't be anointed. Right? So let's get this. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. Psalms 148, verse 14. Yeah. He also exalted the horn of his people yeah. and the praise of all his saints. Right, so the Lord exalted the horn of his people, which is the Israelites, the so called blacks, the so called Nazis, the name of American Indians. Go on. Even of the children of Israel. Even of the children of Israel. So although Esau's walking around with his head up high, like a shit don't stink, guess what? The Lord ain't chosen. So Esau can be proud for what he wants. Alright? But we got something to be really proud about because the Most High chose us. The Creator Himself chose us, not only. Check that out. How much more glory are we going to receive if the Creator only chose one people and He chose us to be? Now that's something to be proud about, man. Yeah, Jake is cash in hell, we living in the ghetto, but guess what? When you have the ultimate creator of all things, and he only chose you, then we can only but imagine the amount of glory he's gonna give us, man. That's why Paul said it himself, look, man, we, we, we don't need to be worrying about this, this weak affliction that we're going through. But we more concerned about the eternal way of glory, because that's what we're gonna get. Our, our glory is gonna be so out of this world, you can't even really put a, 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 a bound on it, man. You can't cap the glory that the Most High is going to give us. Okay, so yeah, read that. Yeah, so I was writing 48 verse 14. Yeah. He also exalteth the horn of his people. Yeah. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. And that's showing you right there who the saints are. Now, get back to what you have. 
Yeah, brother, if you could give me that, give me, um, uh, what is it, man? You know what Paul said, Paul said, um, something alluding to the eternal way of glory. Yeah. Oh, he can, oh, he, you know, if you want to be, be All right. Daniel, I think it's in, um, yeah, yeah, read that, read that. I think it's in, um, Daniel chapter reading. 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom yeah. and possess the kingdom forever, yeah. even forever and ever. Yeah, so that's the part of it, man. We're going to possess the world or, or a society forever and ever. That's what's going to happen. Okay? The so-called white man, he's going down. He's going in the state room. And we're going to pretty much, pretty much, he's going to be on our foot. Okay? That's the truth. That's a part of the truth. You have to put on the of that. Yeah, we can't conceal that. Esau's going in the state, but we're going we to we pretty much put a boot up his face, man. For a thousand years, and he's going to have to get used to that boot being up all up in his face. Right? And that's just the bottom line. That's the, just that's just the reality. You can't, change, you can't change reality your way. The only power that can, that can uh, uh, change reality is the most high. So just get better than most high for that. Right? Full cap, full cap alone, I'll call it. Yeah, yeah, you got it, right? Yeah. Second yeah. Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. For our light affliction is but for a moment. Right, that's why Paul said our light affliction is but for a moment. Go on. Working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Exactly. And that's why Paul said that, because if you have the creator himself, this gigantic entity, and he only chose us as a people, you can only, but you can't even imagine it, the kind of glory we're gonna receive on the planet now. It's unimaginable, we can't imagine that kind of glory. It's quite a little, quite a little uh, situation right now, all right? Well, all of these other nations, they're gonna see that and they're gonna be jealous. But they're not gonna be to do nothing about that, and it tells you that in truth as well. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we got something way great that's coming our way, brothers. And all we gotta do is stay firm to the truth. That's all we gotta do. Keep doing, keep doing what we're doing. Instant this season, and out of season. Okay, stick and shoot to the doctrine. And we good. Okay? And may the Lord be with us, because these same devils that's walking around, around, looking at us like they're better than us and everything, they're gonna be the ones un under our foot, real soon. And that's not going to change, baby boy. That's not going to change, right? So all of that pride and, 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 and neck all up in the air, that's nothing, man, right there. See, we got something to be proud about. These devils don't got anything to be proud about. Because when it's all said and done, we're going to receive glory and they're going to receive destruction and damnation going. Yeah. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of us, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Right, right. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Right, so if your Edomite, if your line goes back to the Edomites, you're finished. You're finished, mate. Okay, you're the thing. Let's read that again, bro. Let's read that again, man. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yep that dwelleth in the land of us. All right. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Right, that's all of the LD, all of the, all of the LDs that you've done. All of the, all of the demonic activity you've been growing throughout the planet in sorcery, witchcraft, and enslaving the lost people, destroying the earth, all of that all combined together. That's, you're gonna have to pay for that, white boy. Edomite, you're talking about. All right, I need, to, I need to stop saying that. You just call them Edomites. Cause ain't nothing, it ain't nothing white about them. Right? The, the reality of the matter is we're the real white boys, okay? Because we're going to be made white, in other words, pure and righteous. They're not the righteous, they're what you call black people. All that is negative, that's what they represent. And they represent that to the tenth degree. Go on. Uh, a cup also shall pass unto thee, 